in Texas already, man. Yeah. The weather feels good. Yeah, man. well, dude, you got it perfect. You just got uh, 80 degree weather today. No, I it was like 45. That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. Is it is it for good now? Oh yeah. No, no, no we're still transitioning over. The, the moving crew will be here. The end of April, we'll get the house packed up. We'll be here for kids in May first. May first. Yes, it's real. That's, That's awesome, man. That's awesome. What's up, guys? I am here with none other than two-time 212 Olympia champion, and again, Olympia champion, because <laughs> took a little hiatus. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Don't miss the podcast. We're going to do a podcast about it. We're going to talk about a lot of things from the Arnold yeah. to the Olympia, coming back and winning again, yeah. Yeah. winning the first time, winning again. Um, and I feel like it's been great because you and I've been talking about getting together, yeah. wanting to get a workout in together. Absolutely. And I said, just give me a little time. Arnold's now busy, done. Yeah. You were also busy yeah, kicking some busy. ass top five at the Arnold Classic, yeah. going up against all the open dudes. And um, now you want to work on what? Getting bigger and better, improving. So okay. Obviously, chest is the main chest. factor. A little bit of hand free, a little bit of everything. But, okay. Um, you know, I know you were a master of your craft. And yeah. I reached out to you and I said, what can I do to improve? And like you said, you said, if you want to get a workout, let me know, and uh, here I am. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, we're going to train some chest today. We're going to go over a bunch of different pieces of equipment, a couple of pieces of equipment that are going to be specific to what he's looking to do. We'll talk about that during the workout. And again, let's get ready to fucking kill it. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys, we're getting ready to do incline to not a press. What we want to do is really focus on that upper chest. Sean is here so that we can get that 3D chest workout. We're gonna throw some FSD7 in here as well, just to be able to get him next level. Came off a great, great season. And uh, this is gonna be a real, real fun workout. Okay. okay. So 20? Yeah. So. What we'll do is we'll throw a quarter on, go a little heavier, not too much. Get you to get your back arched, stick your back up like that. Okay. Bring your butt back okay. and arch your back and get your shoulders back. Bring your shoulders, pin them, okay. and then push with your chest, and then we'll bring your chin up a little higher. Okay. Okay. Good. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Arch your back a little further. Good. Chin up, chin up higher, like that, like that. Come back, stretch more, stretch more, stretch more. There you go. You need that stretch. Stretch, good, good. Stretch, stretch, good. Stretch, stretch, good. Stretch, good. You wanna get that depth? Full range. Good, good, get it up. Chin up, chin up, chin up, chin up. Up through there, right there. Focus on the top, that's it. Good, good. Awesome, good. Oh, that was different, yeah. Yeah. This is so, chin. arch your back. The way you're doing it, keep your chin up, and then make sure you're stretching further back. Yeah, I don't okay. stretch without it. That's the issue. Right. So I felt that stretch. I felt like it was more, more yep. contraction. Yeah. Yeah. Really, the stretch is the biggest thing for you. And then the chin up is just so that you can turn around and you don't end up hitting your upper chest to your chin too soon okay. and stopping. Gotcha. You want to keep more room so that you can get further, get further up. up here. Yep. So not here. Yep. Yep. Here. Got it. Yeah. But focus on really that stretch on the way back, okay? You want to take advantage of the fact this is not a bar, yeah. so you want to be able to bring your arm back All further. Back. Yes, because if it was a bar, it would stop. Yeah. But it's not, so you want to be able to take advantage of the machine so you have better range of motion. Okay. And as far as pace, how do you like how That you was perfect. Like but just a couple of seconds on the way up, one to two seconds on the way back, and then if we want to increase intensity, we can go slower. We can do force reps. We can do, you know, negatives, all that. Right now, we're just working on the biomechanics mechanics okay. to be able to make sure you get a really good stretch and a really good squeeze. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the weight-wise, how does that feel? Do you want to go a little heavier? Do you want to feel like you want to, you know, how? I'll how say with this for right now, so okay. I get used to it, comfortable, yeah. and see how it feels. So this is the first time you're using this machine. Yeah. 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 Good. 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 Much better stretch. Lower. That's it. Good. Good stretch. Good job, Sean. Good. Drive. Good. Good. Two more. Chin up, chin up, chin up, chin up. Good. Stretch, stretch. Good. One more, one more. One more, one more. Good job. 
<laughs> Woo! That felt really good time. Good, good. That felt really good. Good. Yeah. That stretch felt really good. Yeah. That's the biggest thing because you're so tight through your shoulders. Yeah. What's happening is you're getting a lot of overdevelopment because yeah. what's happening is your shoulders are kicking in and then you're not stretching your pec enough. So you're not getting it to be able to properly fire. Okay. So everything is locked up in that delt, front delt. Right here. That's right. That's why your front delts are looking stupid crazy. Yeah. So if you want to continue to keep building up that upper chest, Pins you got back. to hit your back. Okay. It's not about the weight, it's just about the stretch. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's something I put in my mind. I'm always thinking I got to go heavier, heavier, heavier. The one thing I've always been lacking is the stretch. Yeah. And if you stretch, equals more separation. More stretch, more separation. You get more separation between the delt and the chest, and then you'll be able to get the chest to fire better separately than the delt. I think a little heavier here if you want to go. Okay, yeah. Okay. Seven. Good, good, Sean. Slow, good, good. Good. Drive. Good. Good. Good job. Woo. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good. Good. Now That's bring, different. Your bring your shoulders back now. There you go. Keep them back. Squeeze your pecs, but keep your shoulders back. So, yeah, that, that. There you go. So here. There you go. That's that. Squeeze now. Good. Squeeze that. Squeeze that. Squeeze. Push harder. Now go from that squeeze into a press like that. There you go. Hold that. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Good job. Woo! <laughs> that was a set. <laughs> good. Yeah, I feel good. Good, 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 good. So one thing, I've been doing that a lot because I've been binging your videos, obviously. Yeah. But the one thing I didn't do was this. Got it. We're always like, it's cool, it's weird, yes. but... Yes, yes. Back. Yes, yeah. Especially for you because you're, you're so bound up in yeah. here. You're so shoulder dominant. Yeah. Now you want to be chest dominant. You yeah. got to get in here and go in there. Bring them back. Yep. That's it. Uh, it's always then, like, it's always like that's this. That's right. You know, and that's okay if you're training shoulders and you're trying to squeeze your shoulders yeah. in between sets on yeah. that. But if you're doing chest, you really need to try Take that chest. Yep. You got to get that chest to come. Shoulders need to pinch back and chest forward and then you go into the press. Okay. Because you're going to feel a bit in here, but then you're going to feel even more when you go into that lower press. Yep. Okay, hold, hold it, hold it. Now go right into a press. That's it, right there. You feel that? Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Good job. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to do one more, because okay. that was a really good working set. I'm not going to throw in any crazy intensity stuff. I want, because this is a new range of motion for you, yeah. I feel like you're really getting good mind-muscle connection on there. Yeah, yeah, but I think you got you can do one more. Yeah. Just rest up for about a minute or two, okay. and then we'll finish it off with one last working set. Okay. Good, one more, one more, one more, one more, come on. Come on, come on. Go higher, higher, higher. Chin up, chin up, keep it back. Now go slow, five seconds on the way down. Four, slow down, slow down. Three, two, halfway up. A little higher, 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 higher. Right there, shoulders back, slowly, 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 slowly. Good job. Whoa. I had to walk that one off. Oh. Good. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that going back up thing killed me. When you do your chest movements on yeah. dumbbell, yeah. what do you normally do? Do you do normal presses? Do you normally do flies? Tell me a little bit about what uh, you're Incline working. flies, slight yeah. incline flies, dumbbell flies. I do presses very, very rarely, okay. um, but I still do them. Floor presses, flies, basic shit. Okay. But because I've been trying to build upper pecs, it's always been like incline fly, incline, incline presses. Okay, so let me see what you look like doing the incline fly. Okay. So let me check out your form. Let me just kind of, let's kind of go through that. Okay. Okay, arch your back, arch your back. There you go. 
Good. 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 They're out here. Uh, yep. And then almost like you're hugging a barrel. Okay? Like that. Good. 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 Yeah. And that's a little too light. So go ahead and put that weight back and go up about oh, that's 10 pounds. Good. So guys, here's the issue when you go too light when you're a guy that's really, really strong. It's such an artificial feeling movement that you actually can't really get the proper range of motion because it's so light. A uh, perfect example is squats. If you start to just try to squat with a bar without a little bit of weight on it, it's not gonna force you right into the hole where you're supposed to be able to break parallel and go back up. Same thing with these flies. He's going a little bit too light. What we wanna do is go heavy enough to get a little, a little more resistance so therefore you can arch and then you can be able to kind of feel through the range of motion instead of it being a little bit artificial. Again, don't go too light because if you do, you're not gonna really be able to get the proper range of motion. They're out here. Uh, yep. And then almost like you're hugging a barrel. Okay? Like that. Good. 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 Yeah. And that's a little too light. So go ahead and put that weight back and go up about oh, 10 pounds. Gotcha. So guys, here's the issue when you go too light when you're a guy that's really, really strong. It's such an artificial feeling movement that you actually can't really get the proper range of motion because it's so light. A uh, perfect example is squats. If you start to just try to squat with a bar without a little bit of weight on it, it's not gonna force you right into the hole where you're supposed to be able to break parallel and go back up. Same thing with these flies. He's going a little bit too light. What we wanna do is go heavy enough to get a little, a little more resistance so therefore you can arch and then you can be able to kind of feel through the range of motion instead of it being a little bit artificial. Again, don't go too light because if you do, you're not gonna really be able to get the proper range of motion. Okay, good, good. Good. Okay, chin up, arch back. Good. 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 Good, much better. Good. A little deeper, a little deeper. Stretch, stretch a little bit more. Good. Stretch. Good. Good. Drive. Good. Good. Stretch, stretch, and drive. Good, one more. That's it. And drive. Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh. 45? Yeah, how much was that? 35. Yeah, yeah. 45. What do you, what, on your working sets, what are you going up to right now on your working sets? 60, 70. Okay, okay, so I think definitely like going up 10, 10 pounds would be perfect. Okay. And then we can kind of see how that feels. Kind of feel, and do you feel like you're stretching a little more now? If I'm, I don't, unless you're there, making me do it, I don't feel it. Right. Once you're there, I'm like, okay, I got more in me. Okay, so that's what we want. Yes. Just want to kind of open it up a little bit further. Yep. There you go. Cause usually I'm like, like right here. Yeah. But I should go yeah. here. Yeah. That's a little, that little bit more stretch, you know? Now, if you go super heavy and you have to go narrow, like a little bit less, that's okay because you don't want to end up being Tear, super heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. way back out yeah. there. But you just want to be able to just But is it, is it worth it though? Well, I think it is when you really are going heavier down the road and you're going into like a really hot, hard training cycle. Okay. But right now, it's not. Uh, try to go a little bit further out, especially on the lighter weights, and try to open everything up. Okay. Try to open it up so that way you can be able to get better separation. Good. Okay, give me five. Two. Give me a little more stretch. Three. Come on, Sean. Good. One more. Okay. Okay, now slow down a little bit. And then now we're going to roll with the pinkies. Okay, go. Just like that. Good. Keep it there and squeeze there you go even closer good now you're gonna supinate the wrist just a little bit this yep. way yep yep as you go closer together as you go closer together. Okay. that there okay. you go as you get closer together though like that good. yep not too much not too much just a little bit good good 
contract. There you go. Arch your back and contract. All in the same motion. Good. Good. Squeeze, arch, squeeze. Good. Two. Come on. Two more. This is bullshit. Don't stop. Come on. Good. Good job. That's better. That's better. Ooh. You feel that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to do those with the pinkies. Yeah. But I felt like I, just, I, got, I got away from it. Yeah, well, like I said, you, it's just about coming back. When you've been doing this for 25 years, yeah. that you've been doing it for, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Good. Good. Slow down a little bit. Now go with pinkies. Like that. Good. Control them. Slow, controlled movement. Chin up. That's it. Control. Arch your back. Arch, arch, arch. Good. Drive. Good. Upper chest. Upper chest. One more like that. Good. Good. Now hold it right there. Now we're going to do a press. Arch your back. Arch your back. Right there. Now come down. Arch your back. Arch your back. Good. A little further apart with the dumbbells. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. One more. One more. Get it up. That's it. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's see that chest. Good. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's the next level. You can definitely feel it. Hold that. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Relax, good, good, good. We're gonna do one more set with that. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna flex and then you're gonna do a push set. Like we're just gonna, we're gonna flex both ways. That's it, gotcha. That's it. Good. Give it a little more turn. That's it. Not too much. Not too much. Not too fast. Okay. Not too fast. Control it. Good. Almost like if it's a cable. Squeeze. Like that. There you go. Much better. Two more like that. Two more like that. Good. One more like that. A little closer. A little closer together. Good. Now together. Right there. Right there. And now press. Arch your back. Good. Arch. Good. Come on. Hurry. One more, one more, one more, one more. You got this. Arch your back. Drive it. Good. See? Easy. Whew. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Right there. And then drive forward. Drive forward. Good. Drive forward. <laughs> Relax. Whoa. Good, job. Good. Sip some water. Yep. All right. So what we're doing is we were doing cable. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, dumbbell flies. What we're doing is we're supinating the wrist just slightly as we get closer together. We don't want to come back and touch, but getting close. Keep that constant tension, not to go too fast because we don't want to use momentum. You want to come down, but you don't want to end up destroying your shoulder if you go down too far. So what you want to do is you want to really hit that fixed plane. So you go right to the fact that you're almost straight with, shoulder, with the arms parallel, but without being completely parallel. Come all the way back without touching, and then slight supination as we get closer to really get that chest to really flex. Then we did flex set, two versions, into a pose, most muscular, then into almost a pressing, decline pressing, to just be able to exhaust, get more time under tension, get more muscle growth, more separation. So again, uh, to see the champ go even the next level. It's been a great workout so far. It's gonna be fun. All right, guys. So next exercise we're gonna do. Um, have you used this before? Never. Okay. So we're gonna do a panada press. This panada press, very particular because you get to actually adjust it. Uh, you guys, have, you might have seen me use this with uh, C bum. 
It's a great machine. Uh, you can actually use a couple of different handle choices. We're gonna go ahead and use the regular handle choice, not the uh, cambered bar. Go ahead and have a seat. This is like Disneyland without the mouse. <laughs> okay. And then pull it down. There you go. And then move yourself a little bit forward. It's like that, right there. Okay. And let go. And it's gonna lock in. Yep. Now you bring your hands back. Well, use this for yep. Like that. There okay. you go. Got it. Where do my feet go? Anywhere? Either way. Okay. <laughs> Good. And drive. Good. Come down. Lower, lower, lower. Try to come down. There you go. Go. Good. Go down as low as you can. Go down as low as you can. Good. Drive. Good. Good. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Drive it. Good. Let's go. Good. There you go. Come on. Good. Drive it. Good. Two more, two more. One more. Good. I like it. It's different. Only issue is my feet swing. So I think I'll have that control to push off of something. Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah. So you can either put your feet up on here. Okay. And then you can also use that as leverage. Yeah. Or you're going to have to turn around and try to find a nice, you know, right. spot. Just, all right. We just posted up the Q&A for the podcast. We got a couple of questions in the last 34 minutes. Let's see. Woo! They want to know. So good. Not, good. not bad for 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and answer some of these on the podcast, so definitely check it out. Come on. Let's go, champ. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Keep your head back. Keep your head back and drive. Good. Focus. Good. Good. Good depth. A little lower. A little lower. Good. That's it. Good. Good. Come on. Good. Come on, champ. Good. Good. There you go. Okay, go up and hold it. Up and hold it. Five, four, slow down. Slow down. Slow. Three, two. Two seconds on the way up. Up. Up, 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 up. Good, slow. Five seconds on the way down. Drive it up. up. Good, now slow. Slow, 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 slow. Okay. Last one, five seconds. Four, three, two, one more. All the way, all the way, champ. All the way, all the way. That's it, slow now. Slow now, slow now. Good job, feet up. Good. Whoa. Thank you. Yes, sir. Enjoy your ride. Oh, yeah. Disney World. A swirl, swole world. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> wow. Enjoy your day at swole world, you know? That was great. It's all the fun of Disney without the mouse. Mm. 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 Work off the bottom, halfway up. Good. Go. Two, three, four, 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 four. Oh, you damn, this is light shit. Go. 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 Yeah. Oh. That's it. Got it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. All right. Hey, buddy. There you go. Looking really, really good. You and Matt have done a great job. Yeah. Continue to do a great job. Yeah. And, you know, I can't wait so we can get into that podcast because I got <laughs> a lot of questions about your journey and yeah. everything that goes on. So, guys, you're not going to want to miss this podcast we're going to do afterwards. 
he has done an amazing job coming back, winning for the second time the 212 title, top five at you know the Arnold Classic, the toughest Arnold Classic in the last 20 years. Yeah. So coming in, looking amazing, heavier than ever. You and Matt are an amazing team. Thank you. And um, it's great, man. I, it's, it's an honor for me to be able to get to do a session yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. We've been talking about this for a while. Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't want you to lose your pump. We're going to go in, we're going <laughs> to do a little bit of dips, and we're going to do a little bit of FSC 7 flies to finish this off, and then we're going to talk all about your journey. Let's talk about it. Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. Let's go. Good. 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 Good, good, good. Keep that chin up a little bit and then drive with that lower pec. Good. Perfect angle. Drive. Right in there. Good. 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 Like. good. But it feels great though. I like how it converges in. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Good. good. Feels good. The angle feels yeah, good. Yeah, perfect. Good job, Sean. Good. Good. You can lean forward a little bit more. That's it, like that. Good. And drive with the pecs. Drive with the pecs. Good. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect angle. Good. Good job. Good. Squeeze. Good. No. Drive. One more. One more. Drive. 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 One more. One more. Squeeze. One more. One more. Squeeze. Good job. Woo. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Two. Three. Four. Good. Drive. Good. 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 Two more. Two more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Five partials. Go. Go. One. Deeper. Deeper. Three. Good. All right, so what we did is we just are doing this new Panada dip machine that we just got in. It's great. You can adjust the handles. You can face forward, you can point it face back. What we're trying to do is bend forward so we get that constant tension on the chest. And what's great about it is the fact that you can actually unlock it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more set. You're gonna unlock it. And you're gonna see it a little bit of a difference compared to a lot of other machines out there. So you can be able to see how you can work one side versus the other. It's gonna be cool. Oh, shit. So basically now, what I did was we can work one side versus the other. And again, it's, there's no right or wrong way to do it, but the nice thing about this is that you'll be able to create a little bit more of that independence. So if you have a little bit weaker side, left side, right side, dominant, you'll be able to work on that side a little bit more without losing that balance. Because a lot of us have an imbalance, and when you lock both sides, Unfortunately, you end up carrying that imbalance forward. This, you'll be able to do more reps and you'll be able to recognize a left side versus right side weakness or strength. Hey, that's awesome. Wow. Three. Four. Three. Good. <clears throat> one more, one more. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. We're gonna do drop set. Slow up, 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 up. Okay. Go. Together. Good. Now go up. Hold it. Hold it there. Now only do the right side. Only the right. Go. Two. Three. Four. Keep going. Two more. Now other side. Good. Good. Keep that core tight. That core, those ancillary muscles on your core. Good. 
Uh, Good, now together. Uh, Good. Uh, Good. Uh, Two more. Uh, Two more. One more. Uh, Good job. No. What's up, brother? Woo. I like that. That's awesome. I've never seen it before. Single hand tricep machine. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Good, chest up, chest up. Good, like that, right there. Give me two more. Good. One more, one more, one more. One more. Good job. There you go. Good, perfect. That's what I want you to do for this set. But what I'm gonna do on the next set, we're gonna, we're gonna do the RFD sets for this. So we're gonna wait 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna move your, my hands. Uh -huh. You're gonna come down Got low. It. We're gonna go mid. We're gonna go high. Got it. Low, mid, high. Got it. Is that weight you can be able to handle that, or you want to go a little lighter on it? A little lighter, just to make sure. Forty. All right. So what we're doing now is FST seven flies. We're gonna do them with the ladder variation, which means that I'm gonna move my hands up and down. He's gonna follow my hands, so we can work the entire range of motion. Down. down. Slow down a little bit, slow down a little bit, slow down a little bit. Good, go, go, good. A little higher, a little higher, march back, march back. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Good, stretch more, stretch. Good, stretch, that's it. Stay up, high. Good, down, down. One, two, mid. High, 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 high. Good, stay up there, stay up there, stay up there. Good. Good. Stretch. Stretch for alert. Good. Good job. Good. 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 I like that. Much better. Much better. Low. Good. Stay. Mid. Chop. A little higher. Stretch it up. Stretch it up. Oh, up there. Mid. Good. Low. Good. Stay. Mid. Chop. A little higher. Stretch up. Stretch it up. Oh, up there. Mid. Good. Low. Low. Good. Stay low. Even lower. Good. Two more. Mid. Finish. Good. Press now. Go. There you go. Arch your back. Arch your back. Slow on the way back. Slow. Contract it. That's what's going to fucking make you round. Drop. Good. That's it. Good. That's what's going to get him round. Getting that good stretch. Working that full range of motion. Why? Because we want to hit upper, we want to hit mid, and then we want to come down and try to exhaust every portion of that pack. And then at the very end, they go into the presses. That's what's going to get you really, really round and really, really full. Blood flow, equals growth, equals three dimensionality, separation, and not pop. Especially when you're competing or if you want to look like you are. That's the best stretch. That's the best stretch. That's the best stretch. Okay, don't swing at the top. Don't swing at the top. There you go, right there. Good, now go into presses. Control it. Good. 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 Come on. Good, good, good. Three, one, two. Keep going, keep going. One more, one more, one more. Come on, Sean. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Together, together. Good job. All right, guys, we are just resting here for the next 30 more seconds, and then we're gonna go right into the last FST7 set. We're gonna do is we're gonna do a tri set FST7. We're gonna do fly, we're gonna do press, we're gonna do push ups, and then on top of that, we're gonna throw in some poses. Because I gotta see what that three dimensionality looks like, because we wanna go next level. Good, 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 good. Come on, Sean. Keep going, keep going, Sean. Good. 
Good. Midpoint. 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 Good. Okay, a little higher. Go a little higher. Open your hands. Slow down a little bit. Squeeze. Come on, Sean. That's it. Good. Let's go. Show me some of that champ shit. Let's go. Press. Control. Good. Come on, Sean. Control. Press. 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 Good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Two more. Two more. Two more. Good. One more. Up. Good. All right. Let's go. Give me push ups. Let's go. Go, go. Come on, Sean. Let's go. Control. That's it. Good. 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 Control. Squeeze. Last FSC7 set. Let's go. Drive it. Good. Control. Arch your back. Squeeze. Good job. Good. Good. Control it. Control it. Slow. Good. Slow. Come on. Fight me. Fight me. Come on. Let's go. That's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Keep it tight. Arch your back. There you go. Chin up. Good. You got that chest pump going. Hold that. Good. Let me see that most muscular crab. Squeeze. 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 Good. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Woo! Yes. All right, guys. Just finished up with Champ Champ. So two-time. <laughs> 212 champ, Sean Clarita, touchdown in Dallas yeah. just yesterday. Yep. Gonna be here for a little bit. We're gonna do not only the workout today, but we're gonna do a podcast. Absolutely. But first, talk to me, tell me what you think of the workout. Uh, first of all, amazing gym. The equipment you guys have in here is top notch. Again, the Panada brand, I mean, I've tried very few pieces, but touching for chest today felt amazing. As far as the workout, like I was telling him, it's everything I, I, I expected and more. Just the intensity, the focus. It wasn't about the poundage, it was about the form, the stretch, the squeeze, slowing it down. That's what I need, that's what I've been missing. Because okay. everyone knows my training, I'm hard, banging, clanging. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what am I doing wrong that's not engaging my chest? Why is it not improving? Improving something so strong. It's again, you taught me today, it's slowing it down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Get a bigger stretch, turn up, and just focus on contracting the chest and not just moving the weight. And that's something that, again, I've been missing. And now that you've told me that today, I'm gonna use it going forward um, and improve my body part. The mainly the chest, but in everything I do. So it felt amazing today. Thank you. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. And again, it's not that Sean was doing anything wrong. We're just trying to find different ways of being able to break barriers and break, break plateaus. Yeah. So whether you're a beginner and you're just trying to be able to break a plateau after six months, four months of training, or you've been doing this as long as he has, yeah. and he's current reigning 212 Olympia champion. Yeah. You're always looking at trying to get better and he has a really good mindset of wanting to constantly improve. Uh -huh. So again, congratulations to you and your co Ma coach, Matt Jansen. You guys have done an amazing job together. Yeah. Yep. It was an honor to be able to get, uh, get together with you. I mean, we've been talking about this for yeah. months. <laughs> and on top of that, this podcast is gonna be fire because we can talk a little bit about the fact that you placed top five yeah, right man. behind Woo. 300 pound big <laughs> Ram. And um, yeah. I definitely wanna hear your opinion. So you're not gonna wanna miss this guys because I'm gonna go over a lot of things on this podcast because <laughs> I myself, as a fan of bodybuilding have a lot of wanting to know the mindset of the quote-unquote giant killer the smaller guy mm -hmm. practically almost beating the biggest guy on stage so yeah. again fourth and fifth it was a great battle and um, we're gonna talk more about that absolutely. on the podcast absolutely. but again it was fun you're welcome anytime love to have you back and then we can do another body part together I'll be back for more for sure all right brother appreciate Thanks. it appreciate you